I've been really scared to ask this question, and every time I try to, Luca comes back in. Yeah. Um, and I feel really um, awkward talking about this with him here. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh, Luca, Luca just walked back in the room. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I have my own history. Yep. Um, and I wanted to ask a, um, a question around spirits and how they affect you. Um, because it's something that I noticed recently. I read a book called Tiger, Tiger, which is a memoir about a lady who's been abused. And um, I read the book in a day, and it's over 300 pages, and I couldn't put it down. And, but I didn't cry, and I didn't really connect to much, apart from sexual feelings. And I was kind of disgusted with myself. So feelings of sexual desire rather than... Yeah, arousal. Rather than any sadness or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I felt really disgusting right. with myself. Well, there, there's, this, there's the starting point. Yeah. W- yeah. You know, the sexual disgust of yourself for feeling like aroused when you're reading about somebody's abuse is actually condemning the emotion within yourself before you even begin to investigate it. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So, so rather than condemning the emotion, let's investigate it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. So in, in the book, um, she talks about uh, it's from the age of 7 to 22 mm-hmm. and she um, at age 13 when the actual sex starts like intercourse yeah. she creates a lady called Nina who she becomes yeah. um, and it's beautiful how she's written it it's like she can make something nothing and you know she just basically totally detached yep. um, nothing something yep. um, and she yeah it's total detachment and so she's got an alter ego and so when I was reading that bit, I suddenly realized that that's what I've had all my life. I've had Anna, yep. and, um, who was actually a spirit as well. Yep. Um, and I suggest this Nina. Nina was a spirit as well. Okay, yep. right. Yep. So I read the book, and I thought, okay, so her Nina is my Anna. I get that, um, but still no emotion. And then I spoke to my counselor. And as soon as I walked through the door, I was like, ah, oh, all cocky and detached. I was like, read this awesome book, slapped it down, and just burst out crying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and Good. cried for an hour and a half. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't get to talk about it at all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sobbing about, yeah. oh, I can't believe it. And because I realized that reading the book, Anna had got really, it's like my detached self had got really excited reading the book. Yes. Yeah. But then when I actually connected emotionally with someone who I felt no judgment from, and I, I didn't even talk about it with Mike, I yeah. was so scared of what had happened reading the book. Yeah. Uh, I read, you know, I just, I just first spoke to her, yeah. which of course affects our relationship. Yeah. And um, yeah, and it just seemed really amazing, the spirit influence, and how a lot of my life, even before I was sexually active, I would get turned on thinking about kind of incest situations yeah. and I didn't understand it and just thought that I was dreadful and all these things. Yeah. Can yeah. you see now that that was Anna's unhealed emotion that she projected at you? Mm. The spirit is projecting this emotion at you. Mm. Why would a spirit get turned on about incest? Well, what I came to was that it's actually the complete 180. So when I connected emotionally, I felt terrified. Mm-hmm. Yes, I but agree. when I'm detached, I feel turned on. When you're detached, what's happening though? The spirit is... The spirit is feeling through you. Yeah. Right. What is she feeling? What's her feelings? Excited. She's excited. Why would a person, a woman spirit, be excited by the act of incest? I don't know. Have a feel about it, because it's quite obvious. <laughs> because she's... There's only two possible reasons why she would be excited, really. Because she's an abuser? Because she's an abuser is one of those reasons. That in other words, that she abused children while she was on earth, that's one reason, potential reason. And she then steps in when you're getting abused. When you go out of your body, she then steps in and, and looks after that thing because she actually likes it then. Does that make sense? Does that feel truthful to you? I feel that she's my friend. I know you feel she's <laughs> your friend. 
you feel that she was your friend and this is you feel she was your friend because she saved you from feeling the feelings but the reality is she likes the feelings that's why she steps in at that point there's only one other reason why she would do it remember I said there were two, two. reasons for what's you. the other reason but you're going to very much want the reason to be the second reason mm -hmm. right and you're not going to want the reason to be the first reason but the first reason is the most dominant reason you understand that's why I said it first the second reason is that she herself has had some sexual abuse and she has yet to grieve it and she actually felt the enjoyment of it as a child and therefore she wants to still continue to feel that same enjoyment and that's the only thing that turns her on so that's the second possible reason does that make sense yeah, I want that one. you want, you that, want one? That, yes, that one yes I know you want you that do. one yeah I know you want that one but yeah. this is the problem you see it's the fear the problem with spirits is often they connect to us to the feelings we don't want we don't want to come to acknowledgement of the truth to be frank with you almost all sexual abuse of children all pedophilia and incest related issues almost them all involve a number of spirits almost them all both both on the receiving end and on the giving end of the abuse on the receiving end many of the children go out of body because of the terror that they feel they step away from their body and other spirits come in and actually act out the opposite emotion than what the person actually feels who is in the body at the time you know who owns the body if you like the owner of the body often feels terrified and terrible but the person stepping in feels under control powerful and often enjoys the interaction right and so then that creates it even more confusion for the pedophile himself because he's going but you liked it you see many pedophiles explain this that they feel the child liked it and unfortunately the child w wasn't the child experiencing it it was the child had stepped out of body and unfortunately a spirit had stepped in its place who did enjoy the process right and this is where this is where understanding the truth of all of these interactions is very very important to healing the emotion so does that make sense to you yeah the first one feels truthful even though you don't want it to be doesn't it and this is the problem is that uh, much of the time these people who come to save us from a terrified sit to a terrifying situation are not the you know good people we believe them to be but rather a person who is a, um, a predator in their own right and that's why they come in on those situations yeah. and that's why she tries to encourage those situations does that make sense so you, yeah it's very, it's very damaging to the person who's been abused very confusing emotions and and this is why many much of child abuse is not actually ever healed because the full dynamic of what's happening does not include understanding the spirit dynamic <coughs> you'll find the truth about it for you. yeah I think you already know the truth about it <coughs> does that make sense for you have I got, got any more questions about it makes sense though doesn't it mm. um, I just I have had conversations with Anna mm. and she showed me well I felt like I've remembered huge parts of my spirit life with her yes. as best friends <coughs> and and that it's like this friendship that I've never had on earth which is why I'm so needy with women and we're like this we're like tied together and and then I felt like we moved her on Mike and I one night and all this stuff and like then when well, you think of all the women who you have these kind of relationships with on earth are any of them have any of them proven to be your friend no haven't most of them proven to be more domineering than you mm -hmm. over you mm -hmm. haven't most of them been controlling of you why would that be any different to this attraction yeah just yeah a lot of lies <laughs> yeah and this is the yeah. problem is that uh, there are a lot of lies involved in sexual abuse of children both on the part of spirits and on the part of people on earth you think of how many lies have been a part of your family where mum and dad you know you've had memories of these things now in both in denial in other words both wish to lie about these issues and then on top of that you've got spirits lying to you at the same time <laughs> how confusing is this for a child mm. very difficult 
very difficult emotional things to deal with. Yeah.